Okay, table under here. And today we're going to show you how to filter for nulls. That's that's the, the goal. Alright, so I'm running uh, Epicor version 10.1500.8, I believe is what I'm on. I'm on the Elk River machine server. And let's go to... Let me clean that up. Sorry. I was fooling around earlier. All right. Let's go to the BAQ. We're going to do a new BAQ. And we'll call this uh, job open. Yeah. Jobs open. Nah. Jobs find. No. Ops. Okay. Find null job ops. All right. Go into Query Builder. Let's go to job. Oop. We're going to bring over job head. And let's bring over job upper. So our goal here is to find open jobs that don't have any operations for ASM0. Now obviously you could carry this down further and you know look at all of the assemblies, but this particular uh, uh, customer wanted to know how, okay, how many job, how many open jobs do I have right now that don't have any operations in ASM0? So, uh, so we're going to do this standard join. I can't do an inner join because what I'm looking for doesn't exist, right? So this will be excluded if I leave that as an inner join. So we need to change that to an outer join. Okay, let's apply some criteria to the job. Okay, company, what happened there, oh, I don't even, I got in the wrong field there, all right, And we're going to say we want close to be false. I probably really don't need the. That's kind of an old habit. I should stop doing that. Version 10, you were, in the earlier versions, that like version 8 and stuff, a company was critical, but in version 10, really, I really don't need to do that anymore. Old habits die hard, friends. Old habits die hard. All right. So we've got. We're gonna. Got, we're gonna look for all open jobs, and we're gonna join it with operations. So let's bring in a couple of fields here. Uh, company job number part drawing. All right, and now if I say, show me the op sequence, op code, I'll throw these three, three things on here. All right, so if I test this, I'm going to get pretty much all my open jobs with all of the associated uh, uh, operations. So, so, but that's not really what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is what jobs are sitting down here that don't have any operations. How do we do that? Well, the trick is under phrase builder. Uh, oh. Uh, I need to I need to add a one more 
criteria here. And I want to say assembly sequence equals we'll say constant zero. All right. Let's analyze this, test it. There we go. So now all of our ASMs are going to be zeros. And I suppose I could show that somewhere, couldn't I? Uh, here, assembly sequence. Put that right under job number. All right. So test it, and you can see all of our assembly sequences are zeros. All right. So, but this isn't really what we're looking for, right? What we want is how many of those ASM zeros have no operations, zero operations. All right. So the trick is subquery criteria. Uh, sorry, I think I have to have that highlighted. Okay. Subquery criteria. And I want to say the table is going to be job opper. Field doesn't really matter. I'll just pick job num. And instead of equals, we want to say is no. Save that. Analyze it. Test it. And there we go. There are 12. There are 12 open jobs that don't have any operations. So, so that's the trick. The trick is subquery criteria. And boom, there you go. Hopefully, this was uh, helpful.